Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt Dooley. I'm a DP based out of the Indianapolis area. And I uh, just want to make this vlog today, talk about my one day, basically 10 hour trip to New York City uh, and back to Indianapolis um, that I did this week for a client. I was uh, just want to give a quick shout out to David Moorfield. He's a DP out of Orlando and um, really love subscribing to his page. His vlogs <clears throat> really, uh, yeah, I mean, they just inspired me to do this, um, kind of show what worked, what didn't. Um, I'm going to go through what I packed. Um, I was able to fit everything I needed into uh, the Peter McKinnon 35 liter um, camera backpack, um, albeit it was very heavy. I was probably pushing like 50 pounds. Um, I'm still recovering from the 13,000 plus steps I did in New York City. Um, but yeah, just hanging with the kiddos. And um, so I figured I would uh, just do a quick overview. Um, I took some footage while I was there. I'll kind of narrate, walk through it. Yeah, this is how the trip went. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I uh, appreciate you watching. Okay, so start of the trip uh, pretty early. My flight was at 8 a.m., so I was trying to get to the airport by 6.30. Um, yeah, Indianapolis is just, it was voted like the best airport in North America for the 10th year in a row. It's super easy. Um, security is relatively quick. I wish they had clear because I don't have TSA pre-check. I need to get that. Um, but yeah, super clean, modern airport. Makes things very easy. Of course, I had to stop get a coffee at Tinker instead of Starbucks. It's a local uh, roastery that makes excellent coffee. My go-to there is a iced mocha and uh, breakfast sandwiches are pretty good too. I actually didn't even eat this. I found it in my bag the next day because I was distracted. So um, yeah, I had a pretty sunrise coming out of uh, Indy. And then uh, we were delayed on the runway a little bit, like a half hour. Um, just due to the volume of planes, but yeah, um, flew into New York, had a very interesting uh, experience at the curb waiting for my Uber. Had a classic taste of uh, New York hospitality and then this Uber driver was fighting with uh, the airport employee in charge of keeping traffic moving. Thought it was gonna turn into a world star fight, but um, yeah, it took a $75 Uber ride for a 20 minute ride from LaGuardia into Manhattan. Um, ended up coming in and, um, just posting up at like a cafe coffee shop. I had to knock out a couple of edits for another client, um, friend of mine. Um, but yeah, I just can't, I, I don't know how anybody lives in New York. <laughs> like I, just, I, I don't know how they do it. After I got that edit done, started making my way over towards Central Park. Um, did a little bit of exploring because I had some time to kill. Saw this sweet coffee shop um, that's underneath this like glass ceiling atrium. So you're kind of exposed, but also protected from the elements. They had a musician there playing the piano. Just super cool stuff you don't see anywhere else in the world. Um, as I was walking to Central Park, I inadvertently walked by Trump Tower, uh, where apparently he was going to be uh, President Trump was going to be showing up and after a court hearing. So the media was all set up. Secret Service had the whole street blocked off. Um, it was just crazy. I'm not really up to date on all that stuff. Um, bread and circuses, if you will. So yeah, I uh, went to Central Park for the first time. Kind of strolled through. Um, a little bit of exploring. Just seeing how massive all these buildings are. Um, there's a new skyscraper, relatively new one, that's like being built. Um, right next to Central Park, which I'll show right here in this clip. Um, yeah, it's just like, there's so many people. Um, I want to walk over to the west side of the park and just kind of get a little bit of exercise. Again, this pack was probably like 50 pounds, so it was more like a ruck through Central Park. And then ended up catching an Uber up the west side, uh, you know, upper west side, worked on the edit in the van. Um, on my way up to Harlem where the event was. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's nice to be able to get work done um, in the car. Makes your life a little bit more productive. Um, knocked out the edit, so I was able to, you know, film a little time lapse here and there. Um, but yeah, made my way into Harlem, got to the location and set up my shot. It was a real small room. Um, and yeah, this is my FX3 rigged up on 
the RS3 Pro on the Peak Designs tripod. Um, it held up really well. I mean, it was definitely pushing the weight, but it worked really well for me. I was able to, you know, take it off and uh, use the gimbal as needed. Um, yeah, I was at this community center there in Harlem. So after the event, um, made my way back to the airport through Harlem and the Bronx. That was an experience uh, in itself. So yeah, I made my way to the airport, got there like three hours early. Um, so I went through security and then as I was going to the gate, I saw there was a Delta Sky Club and they had a sign saying that, hey, if you're an Amex Business Platinum member, you can come in for free. So loaded up on some delicious food. Um, yeah, David Moorfield talks about this. Like if you're, if you travel more than two or three times a year, get the Amex Business Platinum card because you get lounge access and it's got all these perks, free food, you know. Uh, they've got these little sound booth areas. Great spot if you want to work in silence or, you know, make a phone call. Um, I'm 6'4", 290, so I was kind of cramped. I'd like it if they were, like, a little bigger, but. Wow, it is quiet in here. This is sweet. Needs to be about twice as big because I don't fit, but whatever. So this is, like, a phone call room. It's super quiet. <laughs> Got a little desk that you can work on. Got my big old bag on there. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go hit the gate and uh, head home. So, yeah, I packed up my stuff after a couple hours of eating and working and um, made my way to the gate. I thought I had plenty of time, uh, so I got myself an iced latte from the espresso machine. Um, the Sky Club is in Terminal C right by the, right after you get out of security. So, super conveniently located. And, um, yeah, I was like, oh, sweet. I'm in gate 88, and my flight leaves at 8.15. Uh, okay, so I misjudged how far my gate was because I could see it from the lounge. But you go downstairs, and your boy is out of breath. But we made it. Yeah, so despite leaving super late, I ended up making it right on time. Got on the plane and saw this. The window was pretty dirty. Um, on the plane, I was like, oh, look, it's a built-in uh, black promise filter right into the window. Got hella halation. So they either complain about the dirty window or use it as a built-in black promise. I'm a glass half full type of guy. Left the city, and based off this plane layout, um, I, it was kind of like an exit row. Um, I got so many steps in. My hips are still sore from this trip, from hauling that bag all over the city. Um, but yeah, that's you know pretty much what a day in the life looks like on a you know ten when you're in New York for uh, ten hours uh, for work and still make it back the same night. I forgot to get footage of me get out of the plane. That's because I'm exhausted. So I'm heading back to the parking garage. I'm gonna head home. I've done over twelve thousand steps today. I think I need to get new shoes. I need a nice, supportive shoe that I can walk around in all day. It also looks nice. Maybe Hoka's? I don't know. Drop your recommendations in the comments. This thing uses those little PS4 scanners. It lights up when people walk. one of the things I love about flying in on Indy is the free water. So it's really nice on the hot days. It's disarming, but whatever. This will be interesting. I wonder if it's going to charge me full for a full day. Even though it's only been 14 hours. We'll see.
All right, now I got a 40-ish minute drive back home from the airport, but that was a uh, day in the life of a uh, one-man band video operator flying from uh, Indy to New York and back to Indy all within 12 hours. So, needless to say, I'm going to go home and sleep. And then tomorrow I'm going to work on the edit. So thanks for watching. See you next time.